Hey guys, Beast here, and in front of you is a pair of uh, Wickers shirt and uh, boxer shorts. And if we can have an adult conversation about sort of base layers and underwear, um, I've gotten several PMs that have asked me to expand on the earlier conversation that I started with the FR Shemog. Um, we'll put the link up there, the XGO Shemog, and I was kind of getting into mod acrylics and the different FR fabrics that are out there. In that discussion, I'd mentioned I was testing and looking into other products. Well, uh, Wickers is what I've been testing for about the last four or five months. It's, it's about Christmas time, I guess. And um, so this isn't necessarily going to be a review of Wickers um, per se, but I am going to give you a ton of links down below. So for you guys that really want more information out there on the mod acrylic conversation, that's kind of what this video is going to be about. Um, you know, there are plenty of sort of performance fabrics out there. Uh, the polyesters and things of that nature and you know even your compression shorts and things like that that people are used to the first video I'm gonna put down below and even uh, US Tactical Medic did a video kinda comparing the same thing with some XGO t-shirts uh, but I'm gonna give you a video from dry fire which is another you know mainstream company that does the mod acrylic fabrics and that first link down there called Dry Fire Burn Test is going to show a cotton t-shirt, a uh, polyester t-shirt, and then their mod acrylic FR that they use in the Dry Fire. Um, if we are comparing all of them uh, together, then the XGOs and the Dry Fires are definitely, you know, ahead of the game as far as fire resistance over cotton and polyester. Where Rick Wickers sort of changes the game is they use a wool blend uh, it's wool and viscose and actually uh, I'll leave it the second link I'll leave down below is going to be to the Lensing FR Lensing FR is a uh, textile company they have varying uh, degrees of their fire resistant stuff um, you'll see the Lensing FR in a lot of uh, more uh, structural fire uh, gear uh, the, the top company that I'm aware of is PBI and again, that's going to be a lot of more structure fire oriented uh, materials. They do carry a base layer. Um, it is just harder to find. I haven't been able to find one myself um, online or anywhere. Uh, but that same material is used throughout a lot of garments similar to a Nomex um, to where they'd be applying those FR fabrics to the structure guys. Uh, Wickers brings up uh, wool and basically a viscose blend and it's just a plant material and wool is already you know naturally uh, odor resistant it wicks really well um, it, it's already naturally sort of fire resistant and then the uh, the lensing uh, viscose material just completes that picture so this the I guess the third link the second video link I'm gonna leave down below is going to be called flash block FR and it's a uh, I believe in Carolina, a uh, university did a study, and we're talking temperatures way up there, uh, well over normal wildland fire flashover uh, temperatures, where most of our NFPA is, you know, they're looking at 500 degrees temperatures. Uh, structure guys are, are going to be up there for like a three second flashover at 1800 uh, degrees. So this just kind of expands on how great, you know, this stuff holds up, um, even over just the XGO mod acrylic things. Um, but that FR or the the flash block FR the first mannequin you'll see is a mod acrylic and Nomex and a lot of times they'll use a Nomex thread uh, to put the rest of the mod acrylics together um, in there you'll see that the, it, it obviously is not dripping and melting and doing all the things that these companies advertise but it does not hold up to an actual flash over fire um, you know it they can't even get it to come apart in one piece off the mannequin when they're done the second test you're going to see is the PBI product called Base Layer or something like that, or Base Guard. And it's using the Lensing, which is basically the same company that makes this viscose here. Uh, and you're going to see that you know there are a few holes in there, but they're able to take off the whole garment off the mannequin. And you'll also notice underneath, which gets me to my next video link I'm going to leave below, which is just called PBI Base Guard versus Dry Fire Mannequin. In there they do a split half-half, so half of the mannequin gets dry fire, half of it gets the PBI. 
and you'll be able to see the cotton t-shirt that you put underneath there is sort of to re represent your skin. Um, even though the toasted version underneath the PBI, they can pull the PBI base layer off. It is in one piece generally. Um, and it's just kind of a toasted color. The mod acrylic side is absolutely scorched and you know the, the cotton t-shirt is much much darker. The mod acrylic just flakes apart and you're unable to get a complete garment while it's off there. Um, I will leave a link to the actual company of Lenzine FR if you really want to go into it. Uh, one of the original things that they found out with the Lenzine and the Viscose blend and where Wickers and some of these companies come in is they discovered that one for electricians and like a, a smelt factory workers guys that work at like aluminum smelting factories you are exposed to a ton of radiant heat well if you're a wildland fire guy or you're a structure fire guy you're exposed to those same high temperature radiant heats that's just part of one of the major you know hazards that's out there having a garment that can reduce the radiant heat and reduce the the heat fatigue is huge and so you're going to see that on there. If you're an electrician uh, or line worker and you're climbing poles and dealing with high voltage, um, you're going to discover that your bosses will tell you not to wear a polyester and to wear your natural materials uh, simply because of the, you know, the arc ability. And so the lensing has a huge arc uh, resistance to it. And so you've got the radiant heat, you've got the burning, you know, direct flame, uh, the, the smelting hot molten aluminum and things like that. And so really that's kind of where this came about is these aluminum factory workers discovered that their average fatigue for their workers because of the heat fatigue of their job description uh, was much, much uh, reduced because of wearing a fabric like this. Now I've only had a short t-shirt and boxers uh, for my initial testing and so it's been basically hotter weather uh, testing and um, you know it's we're not into full summer yet but as far as the wicking and everything that it does it is fantastic like I said the the merino wool and we'll get to an actual review of the uh, wickers down the road but uh, you know there's no odor um, it does wick fantastic compared to even if you're not even worried about the FR rating stuff um, and you're using some sort of uh, you know wicking synthetic uh, I will tell you personally although I don't have the issues some people like these because it reduces your thigh chafing I've never had thigh chafing um, but I do get um, you know sweaty swamp butt if, if that's what you want to call it uh, with synthetics because it can't um, get into the, the crease of your butt and help wick away that moisture and so that stays there. With something softer like this, and I must say this is some of the most comfortable base layer anything I've ever worn. I wore this as just a regular t-shirt for weeks um, and I'm probably going to get some more. Uh, the flip side all this is you know because it does have the wool it is actually going to keep you warmer when it's colder. It has that sort of weird wool effect that wool does where you know it can keep you actually cooler by wicking in the summer and then when it gets colder it can actually keep you warmer and uh, one of the guys that I had spoke to um, who's actually uh, invented Polar Guard I believe uh, his name is uh, Doug Hocheck and you can look it up he's got a book about Polar Guard um, you know he invented that stuff years ago and he's actually full on telling me that he would say that this thinner wool t-shirt is just as warm as his thicker uh, synthetic sort of expedition weight base layer. And so definitely for this next winter I'm going to get a longer t-shirt and a longer um, you know sort of pants um, as a base layer to try out this winter and just to see compare and see if it is as warm. Um, I did not have a chance to do that this winter but um, I will definitely be getting some more wicker stuff. Uh, the other thing uh, Hocheck is actually good friends with Wiggies and in fact uh, eventually I'll get a review up here of some of the Wiggies gear but uh, those of you that know that Wiggies is you know no holds bar it's just good gear it's made in the USA and he does his research and he tries to dispel a lot of the uh, marketing gimmicks that these companies come up with uh, for lack of a better word well uh, Hocheck is actually running the Wiggies store in Oregon and um, so that's where I got a chance to talk to him about the Wicker stuff. So if you look up his name, um, I'll put a link down below. And actually, I'll put a link down 
Uh, Wiggies does so sort of a blog entry every once in a while, and I'll find the one from about 2007 and put on there, and he has an entire list and a description about mod acrylics and why Wickers is just a better, you know, product. But, um, you know, you, there is some research out there. Uh, I'll try to put these links down below so it gives you a little bit more information so you can understand why mod acrylics, although as fire rated, you know, three, four hundred degrees, it is not as good as some of these other fabrics. Uh, quick side note, if you're looking for wickers, I contacted their company and I got a discount code for Wildland Fire Guys. Uh, there is a code for uh, Structure Guys already. You have to give them their, um, or your house number and location. So if you're a Wildland guy, go ahead and send me a PM if you're interested in getting them directly from wickers. This isn't a Wiggy's uh, discount. Uh, go to wickers uh, website and for only FR rated stuff, um, I'll give you a discount code. You just have to tell me uh, who you're working for, whether you're fed, contractor, you know, you don't want to get too personal, but um, make sure that you're in the, uh, the wildland industry if you're interested in trying a t-shirt and some of the boxers. And again, I'll get into a review maybe down the road. This just kind of gives you uh, a little eye-opening into the world of FR fabrics and um, how there is things that work better than just standard mod acrylics. Thanks for watching, guys.